I sometimes get what I call the tireds and I get really grumpy <laughs> and I just want to sit outside or, or sit and look out the window or, or go into the garden and I, I say to Fred, that's my husband, sorry love, I've got the tireds. In other words, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> but like it was really confusing being menopausal at the same time because you didn't know whether that was a symptom of menopause or not. And I, I get these dreadful sweats. And as you know, with diabetes, you're sweating more anyway. And I'd be lying in bed. Fred said it was like being in bed with an oven. <laughs> <laughs> then I'd want to roll over onto the cool side of the sheet. Do you know, I have been known in the middle of winter to take all my clothes off and rush out stark naked on the back deck in the middle of a howling gale. Would have been quite entertaining for the neighbours. <laughs> Stuff the neighbours. All I wanted was some relief. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And, of course, the libido went out the window. Well, it hasn't affected mine, thank God. Well, you look as if you've got a few years to catch up yet. Mm, not looking but forward to that's, that. But that's what I mean, though. You see, that could be because I'm menopausal. And it could, could be also because I, I got the depression. I mean, you don't know where diabetes starts and menopause takes over. Throw in depression and you don't know what to blame. In fact, I remember hearing something on the television that said, I think over 50% of women aren't interested in sex over the age of 50, and if you've got type 2 diabetes, the same thing happens. So that's kind of like a triple whammy. 